It's crazy Caitlin here and welcome back to my daily vlog during judgment week I told you guys I was in a foster home and that I would tell you guys all about it so here I am going to tell you guys about my story of me being in a foster home um, before I begin I want to let you guys know that there are good foster parents and I know a couple foster parents and they're really really good nice and they're really good shout out to you too you guys know exactly who you are <laughs> okay um yeah so they are really nice and i would have i wish i would have had them as my foster parents um so i just want to let you guys know that there are good foster parents okay um so here's what happened i was nine years old and it was about 1 in the morning, and I remember I heard a loud knock on the door. Like, somebody, it sounded like somebody was trying to break the door. They're just, like, banging on the door as hard as they could. And immediately, I was like, I woke up, and I was like, what's that? And I got really scared, and um, these police started raiding the house, and they were searching for things. They, they removed all the couch cushions and they're throwing things across the room they went in my room and my brother's room and they started taking our stuff they took our technology they took our councils they took um my Wii. they took my brother's xbox they took our phones and all all that stuff and they never they didn't give it back to us until we got out of a foster home so that was really scary and they told us that we needed to pack up our things for a couple days. They said, you guys are going to be gone for a couple days, so make sure you pack up a couple outfits. And so I, thinking it was only going to be like three days, I packed a couple shirts, a couple pairs of jeans, not even enough to last me a full week without having to wash my clothes. And I was nine, so I didn't think things through. And I, I forgot to pack the like, deodorant, um, soap, and like my toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff I totally forgot all that kind of stuff I but for some reason I remember to bring shampoo and conditioner that I don't know it makes no sense I know <laughs> um, so they took me and my brother and um, into custody they took us to somebody's house this wasn't our foster home yet. We were just waiting for for them to figure out where we were going to be staying for the couple of days. And um, so I remember I couldn't sleep at all that night. I tried to sleep, but all you could hear were people walking in the house and like talking so loud about us going somewhere. And I was like freaking out. And I don't, I'm pretty sure my brother was freaking out too. And they, the next morning they put us in the car and they drove us to another town and to some stranger's house. And so my, okay, my foster parents, I didn't understand what they were saying because they were from a different country and they spoke a different language. They spoke a little bit of English too and they, um made different foods that were kind of weird to eat and I didn't like it very much and we ate the same things. Their their tradition was really different than mine and my brother's from what we were used to. So instead of eating regular food like pizza, um, spaghetti and all that kind of stuff, they, they had like they made home cooked meals that were more like rice mixed with some meats and stuff like that. I didn't like it very much. I didn't really eat that much in my foster home, like really at all. Um, she had don she brought us donuts a couple of times, but I was never able to get the donuts that I wanted, and I'll tell you why in a second. And they made when they made spaghetti, they didn't use like tomato sauce. 
and or like any meat to put in it. All they did was put ketchup on it. On the they had noodles and then they just put ketchup on the noodles, right? And that was really disgusting, actually. Um, yeah. So that's what we ate. And I remember I was really shy when I first got in my foster home. And then the more I was there, I just started to get an attitude with my foster parents because they were really mean. I can't remember specifically why they were mean, but I just remember they were really mean to me. Um, and they were kind of nice to my brother, but they weren't, they were still kind of mean to him too. But I was always really the one who was getting picked on, or at least I felt in my foster home. And I, well, you gotta think about this. I mean, I had to go to school, new school, and I live in a stranger's house. I'm gonna have an attitude. You have to remember that. And the in our foster home, in our foster home, we lived in really poor conditions. Um, we didn't have toilet paper. We didn't have um, soap. We didn't have like hand soap. We didn't have toothbrushes or toothpaste. We barely had any clothes. We only had the clothes that we brought. Um, we didn't have much of anything. We had in our room. We had a dresser, a bed, and and that in our stuff that we brought from our home. And the stuff I brought was very special to me. And I had three foster sisters and my brother there. And then what they had. Um, a daughter and a son that was my foster parents real kids like actual kids um yeah so yeah what was I saying okay so the stuff I brought was very special to me and they would her kids and my foster sisters and stuff would always take these things from me and play with them and I got really mad at them because they tore it up and I was like, I flipped out. I was like, I went full on crazy because this stuff meant a lot to me because I, I mean, I was in a foster home and I was sad. I was like, I, I mean, I was depressed in my foster home. Okay. Everything was bad. And, um, well, because of the poor height, my poor height hygiene and stuff and the conditions I was living in my foster home where I wasn't able to shower. I mean, I never showered. Even though I brought shampoo, I rarely ever showered because the bathrooms were disgusting. The tub had dirt, mildew, mold, and all this kind of stuff in it. It was really, really disgusting. I was, I didn't even want to stand in the bathtub. It was disgusting and I would not take a shower. Um, I refused. So, I really, I went to, um, I had to go to school like that with greasy hair, always smelling really gross, um, and I mean, I mean, I told you guys that I got bullied for it, which I did, and that made it really hard when I went back to my foster home, because it's like, some people would be happy to go to school when they're in a foster home because maybe they don't want to be in their foster home so they can go to school and they can hang out with their friends, right? Well, for me, it's like a lose-lose. If I stay home, I have to live with this. I get in trouble so many times. I don't get to go outside and hang hang out with um, our neighbors or anything like everyone else got to except for me and my foster, one of my foster sisters. We always got in trouble, got grounded, had to stay in our room all day and all this kind of stuff. I got put in the corner for doing nothing, for nothing. I don't even remember why and it really irritated me. Um, well, the lose-lose thing, I had to live in, in that I had to go home to this, not being able to do anything. And then at school, I had to go to where people were just bullying me, giving me nasty looks, and being so awful to me. I mean, it was 
bad. I tried to make friends and I couldn't make one friend. I could not make one friend. The only person I could even be, like, even acquaintances with was somebody else who was already in a foster home too because we could relate. And he was mostly my brother's friend. We never hung out. Yeah, so... It was hard. So, um, when did I get out of my foster home? I got out of my foster home, um, let's see, about, well, I was in my foster home for a few months, and we had, before we could actually, like, go live with our mom, we had a bunch of uh, appointments for, like, doctors, and um, we had to go to court a couple times, and that's when our our um, our dad would he would go to court, and we'd talk to him for like a couple minutes. Um, and sometimes he would bring me stuff like clothes because I told him that I needed clothes, so he brought me clothes. And what happened to those clothes? Um, they were given to, uh, my foster parents' real children, so, everything that was supposed to go to me or my brother went to her children instead, and that's what really irritated me too, because that, that was brought for me, not them, and I was really jealous of them too, like, I wanted to hurt, <laughs> I wanted to hurt them so bad. Um, yeah, but, um, when, okay, when I got out of my foster home, I was really excited, and I, it was like, it took a couple hours before I actually got to my mom's house, and you guys, me being in a foster home had nothing to do with my mom. My mom was the one who fought to get me out of the foster home. She was the one who did everything. She moved to California so we could live with her. And shout out to my sister too. My sister and, um, yeah. So shout out to my sister. Um, when I, when she found out I first got into a foster home, um, she was ready she was ready to adopt me. Like, she was like, I'm adopting. I need to adopt both of them. She was ready to adopt. And, yeah, so I just wanted to do that, say that, because yeah, I love it. It's so sweet. I didn't even know, know that until, like, a couple months ago when we were talking about it. And they told me that they were going to adopt me. <laughs> it was so awesome. Um, yeah, okay, so... Anyways, so we got to live with my mom and um, I was so excited and I had earrings in and my ear, I was, I'm allergic to metal so um, that was painful. My mom took out my earrings and stuff and I still, I'm happy about that mom because she helped me, she helped me a lot and she could, she, um, she did everything she could in her power to get me out of a foster home and when we got to live with her she helped me with everything like with my ears they were like really too much too much information but they were really infected and she was like right there to make sure that they were that I was healthy and that um my ears were fine. She took out the earrings and she told me if I want to get my ears pierced again, I can. It's, it's cool, you know. So, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that, Mom. Just saying. Just saying. So, my mom, she really helped me. And I'm happy. I'm so happy that I have her in my life. Even to this day, I'm so happy that she's still here for me and my brother and my sister. Like... She's awesome. So, that was um, my story of me being in foster home. I could not 
be quiet. I couldn't go into um, too many details because there's a lot that happened in my foster home, but I want it to stay kind of short, even though this is probably like maybe 10, 15 minutes long. I wanted it to stay short. Um, thank you guys for watching my story on me and my foster home. I hope you guys will continue watching my videos and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe because I make a lot of videos. I do daily vlogs, challenges, and skits. By the way, don't forget to go check out my previous video on uh, Kayla Stocks Kyle that was uploaded a couple days ago. Don't forget to go check that skit out and then Comment down below on that video what you want to see next. Don't forget to comment down in this video what vlogs you want me to talk about. If you have any questions about me and my foster home, maybe I'll answer them in my next vlog. Who knows? Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, and you guys just have a very, very nice day. Thank you.